learning about the right proper mindset or mentality to have going into a game like this? Um, you know, it's do or die. You know, um, you realize, you know, how big it is um, in, the, in this moment to, to get a victory, to keep, it, give, keep giving ourselves opportunity to keep going. As long as we got that opportunity, you know, we got to seize it tomorrow night and understand, you know, if we win, we can go, be going back home and have another opportunity. How hard was last night for you and how much you carry that into today or don't you at all? I mean, it's rough. You know what I mean? I think as a competitor, you know, it's definitely rough. But I think it's definitely something you carry over to the day. Um, let it fuel you. You know, for me, it's always, for me, uh, uh, I always use things like that to fuel me. You know, I, I've, I've had lots of games where, you know, I, I, I got down on myself or, you know, um, and it's all about how you respond. You know, and for me, you kind of thri thrive in the moments of, of understanding, you know, you can make do of what happened previously, you know. So it's fine to carry that over to the next day. Is there anything you do after a night like that? Watch a movie, read a book, or do something? Uh, I mean, there's really nothing much you can do, honestly, but watch the time go by. You know, and, and wait for the time comes to be able to get this feeling off you. You know, and the only way to get that feeling off you is to go back out there, you know, um, help your teammates and, and get a win. So it was a long night? Yeah, extremely long night. You say you use it as fuel. How do you, like, what is the message you take from it? Like, what do you try to learn from it other than make shots? <laughs> I mean, I, I think for me, I mean, just me in, in general in life, you know, I always take the roughest things and face them head on. You know, as much as you may not like something, some people run away from it or hide from a, a certain feeling. Me, you know, I, I try to dig as deep into it as I can, you know, so I could understand and be one with that feeling that sucks. You know, and sometimes you, you see me respond in a bigger way in the moments is because I, I, I kind of dwell in the moments to kind of, you know, um, you kind of dislike it so much, you kind of find the enjoyment of, 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 the, of it in a sense. You know, it's kind of weird. I, I don't know. It's probably just me being a wannabe ph philosoph philosopher or something, <laughs> but that's just my method. Dwayne said he, he talked to you this morning. What was the conversation like? I mean, it was just simple. You know, that, that group that was in there had it going. You know, um, you know, you got to respect that. You know, um, um, you know, it's just like I said, you know me, you know I'm a competitor and you know I'm going to want to be out there. You know, and, you know, we always hoping for, you know, it to go to overtime. Then I'm pretty sure I would have been back in there. But, you know, um, that didn't happen. Like I said, it moved on. My teammates. But have won that game, great. You know, I wanted them to go in there and win that game, but you know, it's just me being a competitor, you just want to be out there. Tomorrow, last night physically, you guys took it to, the, to James on the defense when he when, when they had the ball. What about when you guys have the ball? Is that the next step, taking like being physical with him when you're off when you're on offense and, and going at him? Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> tomorrow night everything gotta comes out, it gotta come out. Everything gotta come together. Um, spurts of things that we did great offensively and defensively, we got to put them together for 48 minutes tomorrow. You know, we showed that we could do it. You know, we had a couple games that come down um, to a point, a buck. You know, and like I said, um, understanding that, understanding like, you know, let's keep this thing going. Anything can happen. You know, it's not over. You know, I don't get all into this. To, 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 the stats of, you know, down 0-3, this, that, you know, one game at a time, you know, um, and tomorrow night we do everything we need to do. Like I said, get back to Toronto. Mark Kyle said a couple of times that it's a little rumble, like Dr. McGraw and his fight. Did you see that in the fourth quarter watch, like the way our physical team was knocking Eugene? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, 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 them guys, like I said, them guys that was out there was fighting. Fighting and scrapping, fighting and scrapping, fighting and scrapping, you know, and it, it, it put us in a position to be able to not just win, but, you know, force it in overtime. But, you know, LeBron hit a running bank shot. Um, so now we understand how hard we got to play. That fourth quarter got to be four quarters come tomorrow night. Tomorrow, obviously, LeBron's done what he's done in this series. He was great against Indiana as well. Why do you think some of these other guys uh, love Corver, Smith, why have they had more success in this series? Is it simply 
those guys making shots? Is it something that you guys are doing or not doing? Um, no, they're making shots. You know, um, I think every game has been different. You know, um, you know I think Jr. didn't score last night. Um, so that was that was a, a something we took out previously. Game one, he had 20. You know, um, Corver had 19. Um, they all got hot last game. So we took one guy out. Now we got to make it tough on, you know, whether if it's two, three other guys. LeBron going to do what LeBron going to do. But as long as we take out them other guys, give ourselves the best opportunity as possible. DeMarcus, as what's happened in this series and how, how close the two games have been, has it changed your opinion of your own team or not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, I always had the same opinion before this series. During this series, us being down 0-3, my opinion haven't changed. I know how good of a team we are, you know, and, and you know, take away a couple plays here and there, it easily could be 2-1, easily. But, you know, if we can't dwell on that. We got to understand. Um, continue to have the utmost confidence, know how good of a team we are. We've been doing it all year. We face with a little adversity. Let's thrive in that adversity. So. It's, got, it's got to be hard not to just turn over those two games in your mind. Though. I mean, yeah, it's hard, but it's definitely it's definitely tough. But if you could use that as any type of, you know, reassurance of understanding, like, we're right there, mm -hmm. you know. Tomorrow, does your response have to be, like, a big, a big scoring game? Like, can it be? Uh, as long as it's a win. That's all my response needs to be is, is a win. You know, um, um, and as long as that, that comes, everything else will be, you know, forgotten because we have another opportunity to get another win. So. Tomorrow, Coach talked about you guys not watching film. But is it tough to be constantly reminded of, of what James did? Like, you know that shot is going to be played now until he turned it Is that a tough pill to swallow? I mean, yeah, but it's just not that play. There's so many other things defensively that we could have did that we didn't do that, you know, kind of upset you or frustrate you if you see, if you see it as well. That, you know, we all understand. Like, damn, if we had this defensive stop over, you know, we could have did this. You know, so it just don't it just don't come down to that last shot. It's come down to many possessions of defense and offense on our end.